CataractCoach.com returned to the operating room for retained lens fragment. So on post-op day one, this fragment was noticed. So let's show you the original cataract surgery. Our guest surgeon here is Dr. Ravi Gold from New Jersey, USA. And routine case, good rexis. I've sped the video up so we can just show you the important parts. Here's the end of a case. Good dilation, no floppy iris, good looking rexis, lens in the capsule bag. Looks like a nice case. Finishing up the case, removing our viscoelastic. Now this is a high flow setting, right? 40, 50, 60 cc's a minute. So a lot of fluid flowing through that anterior chamber. And the goal is to help wash out the viscoelastic and of course also wash out any small little retained lens fragments. And it looks pretty clear. I mean, I don't see any retained fragments anywhere. And again, it's good dilation, really good dilation. You can see that's a six millimeter optic. And then you maybe have an eight millimeter dilation. So sealing up our incision here looks great. So again, I don't see a retained lens fragment. And that's just the thing here. Sometimes you don't see these little fragments. Now it's more common in the eye, let's say with poor dilation or smaller iris, smaller uh, pupillary size, and you can have pieces hiding out of the iris. Or it can be common in eyes, let's say that have dense arcus senellus of the cornea. So you can get a little chunk of nucleus hiding there in the periphery and the angle of the eye, you may not see it. So here at the end of the case though, this looks darn clear. See nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. And so here's the end of the case, incision sealed up, beautifully centered lens, everything looks just fantastic. But again, we're, we already know we're gonna have retained lens fragment. Here's post-op day one, look at that. Right there in the inferior angle, there's a big piece of lens material. And here at this view, you can really see it now at the slit lamp microscope. So back to the OR. So here's this, this, the trick for the OR. When you get inside the eye, get that pair of knees open, and yup, you wanna put your anesthetic in. That's the anesthetic that's also causing some dilation. And you wanna put viscoelastic to hold that piece in place. Now sometimes it's a small piece and you don't want that to be lost somewhere. A bigger piece is a little bit easier. But the viscoelastic holds it in, into position here. And you notice the incisions being only a few days or a week out open up pretty easily. Now go with a phaco probe and just feed that piece. Don't try to chop it, just try to emulsify it slowly in one big piece and then it can be removed. So there it is, just like that. And that's obviously gonna help a tremendous amount. You're gonna re reduce the inflammation of the eye. The patient's gonna get a recovery of much better vision. So good move to head back to the operating room and take out that last little retained lens fragment. So here you go, he's just checking under the iris now. I can't blame him, that's a smart move. Just look around everywhere, make sure there are no retained lens fragments. So yes, I'm gonna tell you, you will experience a retained lens fragment probably in the next year or so. And if you're a high volume surgeon, even a few times a year. Again, normal part of what we do with the advent of FACO and small incisions for cataract surgery, it means we break the cataract up and do many, many small pieces and we can have a retained piece there and then not see it because it can be hiding and not see it till the day after, that's okay as long as we recognize this, we know how to handle it. So if you do see a retained lens fragment like this, probably the easiest part of judgment, just take the patient back to the operating room, do the technique you saw here, remove that piece, and the patient will do great. Thanks for watching.